The first government shutdown in 17 years has had a dramatic impact on the first lady's world famous kitchen garden on the South Lawn. It is currently bursting with more than 30 kinds of vegetables, including presidential pumpkins oh, no. awaiting harvest just in time for Halloween. In the 11 days since the shutdown, pounds and pounds of ripe organic bounty have gone to waste. Vegetables filling the 1,500 square foot plot now rotting away on the vines and in the box beds thanks to the mandate for minimal maintenance. Place the skeletal crew of National Park Service gardeners who remain on duty at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. I'm sorry, I'm getting a little choked up. I, I, oh, hang on, I'm... I'm having a hard time here. Just give me a moment to compose myself. It's it's understandable. Skeletal crew of gardeners. It is is understandable. The gardeners are not allowed to harvest the crops. A White House source told, told Foodorama, weeds are springing up everywhere and vegetables have already fallen off the vines and are now molding on the ground. There are also mushrooms popping up inside and outside the garden beds. Leaf litter raining down from the trees like confetti. This is an actual story. I'm sorry, I just... mm. The wildlife that lives on the historic 18-acre campus, including a newly arrived fox now making a home at the White House, are having a field day. Sounds almost too tragic to believe, doesn't it? It does. And isn't it it appropriate now a fox is in the hen house? (laughs) It's a big change for the iconic symbol for... The First Lady's Let's Move campaign, which she lovingly memorialized in her book, American Grown. The First Lady has been credited with a national spike in home and school gardening. But her kitchen garden is a backyard plot. It's a Bentley compared to a VW Bug. It's usually curated with obsessive precision. A masterpiece of of living art. But now the gardeners are allowed only two activities, watering and removing trash. This is, this oh. is tragic. Oh. This, when, will the, when will the Republicans mm. end this nonsense? So the first lady's garden. Now, I mean, sure. Mm. Sure. Instead of letting all of this go to waste, the first lady could, I don't know, move her fat ass and get her kids out there <laughs> and pick the vegetables. Well, if the uh, stuff is rotting, yeah. Yeah, you would I think mean, so. You, Somebody could. Let's move. No. Hey, Mrs. O, get the fat ass off the couch. Why don't you grab the kids? That's what we do. <laughs> is it just me? Because that's what we do. We don't have gardeners that do it that are like, oh, it's shut down. They can't do it. So if they can't do it, you can. No, no, no! I've got to have the government do it. I mean, now, I mean, this is insane. Well, that was what my, that was my first thought when when I read the story that the the first lady's garden the the vegetables are rotting. Well, get out there and, and pick the vegetables. Get out there and harvest it. What are you doing? Well, letting this food go to waste. You know what would it be? A, you know what a real person would do? You'd go out with your kids yeah. and you would pick them. And if yeah. you would say, well, we don't have now the kitchen staff to do it. Well, oh, sorry, I don't have the kitchen staff to do it. What happened to you? Well, we don't have the kitchen staff to do it. Well, here's what you do. You call up a friend. If you had a friend that had a truck, I can guarantee you there is not a single friend of the first family that owns a pickup truck. Mm. But you call somebody with a pickup truck and you take all those vegetables down to a homeless shelter. But I will bet you that your husband has made it impossible for somebody to bring fresh vegetables from a farm to a homeless shelter. So let them rot. And I really don't give a crap. Uh, They're not mowing the... uh, the front lawn, either of the White House, there. I don't really care. I, I, I just don't care anymore. I really don't mm. care. You can make the White House look like crap. I don't care. Painted black, painted purple. Don't I don't care. Well, you couldn't paint it now because uh, it's a government shutdown. There's no one to paint. No one to paint. No okay, now here's, federal employee. Here's how. <laughs> please don't. It could paint. No, please don't. Please don't bring that up again. No, it's, it's, it's there's not a single not a federal painter. On the oh, payroll right this now. This is sad. There's not one now federal painter on my, the payroll. You bring a tears all, to my eyes. All again. the federal painters oh, are out boy. of work right now. Tell me about don't don't tell please. 
Please don't tell me that the arborists have gone home too. Oh, arborists too? Oh, no. The arboretums are closed. They're closed? Close. What are the trees doing? What are the trees doing for food right now? Starving. <laughs> Oh, my, hey, oh my goodness. <laughs> why? Why? What kind of country do we <laughs> live in? Andrews, why? <laughs> we can't do it. <laughs> oh, oh, man. <laughs>